what's up YouTube? It's Jamie with Restoration Ridge and I have behind me our coffee bar that we use in our dining room. And I finished this piece back in October and I know for a fact because I did it during Halloween and I was feeling witchy and I painted it black, um, just very dark. <laughs> and I'm not gonna change the color, I like the black, but I'm just gonna spruce it up a little bit, give it a facelift. I did already change out the hardware it originally had this bone inlay hardware, which is gorgeous, but I'm just not feeling it. I was feeling more of a metallic-y, textiles, bronzy, glassy. Very, very chunky hardware. And I placed it on there, it looks great, but now I'm gonna give it a facelift. And down here is the detailed legs, which is part of the reason why I fell in love with it. I just feel like they could have more potential. There is a matching dining room table that we use in the dining room and also um, a hutch that I store all my glassware and stuff for special occasions. It all matches, but it doesn't match in color. I kind of went with a mismatchy vibe. Um, my dining room table is white, but here's the dining room table. You can see down here with the big chunky legs. That's why I fell in love with this set and decided to keep it for myself. And over here, there's my armoire or China Hutch and I have everything stored in it and you can tell obviously it doesn't match but it kind of matches but it has an ombre effect on it. You can look at my social media for more, more pictures of them but I have to look at this every day and I just feel like it needs to be spruced up a little bit. Like I said I'm keeping the black but we're just going to give it a little bit more of that metallic flair that I like. So what I'm starting off with guys is Metallic Luster by Deco Art. It's basically a gilding wax and I have it in three colors. I have Iced Espresso, Gold Rush, and Champagne Ice. These are kind of my favorite go-tos. I found these things when I first started. And then I, the pandemic hit and it got a little hard to find, but now they're back. And I found them at Hobby Lobby. So I don't know if they were always there and I was just a newbie, but they're great and I also have rub and buff in antique gold which I don't really use that often in this process but I have it out anyways and then I just have the regular craft paint in a pretty metallic champagne -y, different blends um, I kind of mix them together and I've worked with these paints when I'm doing little things like this and I'm just trying to accent these legs so these legs have already been finished so um, there's no protective coat on it so the paint is going to work just fine um, being applied to the wood and it should stay on just fine but these have like a metallic sheen to it a metallic luster and I like them I don't know how anyone else feels about them if you guys have opinion about them for, for furniture let me know in the comment section but this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just get started with my two inch artist brush and put a thin layer first onto the legs and you can see I'm just kind of working this right into all the nooks and crannies kind of fanning it in I'm not gobbing it on there I'm not trying to get full coverage I just want to spice this up a little bit and give it a more of a sheen a sparkle a metallic look um, so I'm just lightly putting it on there and then you'll see me go all the way across um, I'm not saturating the brush either with the paint but I just kind of fan it and it works quite nicely. All right guys, so now you see me using the gilding wax. I'm using it in the color Gold Rush and I'm kind of going back and forth in between the Champagne Ice and the Ice Espresso. The Ice Espresso is more of like a brown color. The Champagne Ice is a champagne -y icy color. And then the Gold it's just gives this elegant, rich, rich luster. So I kind of do the outside edging in the Gold, but I also mix it in, I blend it all. Um, circular motions, fan it in, however you kind of want. This stuff is fun and to play with it you really see uh, cool results. Now here you can see that I'm working it into even more detail. I've done some um, edging, antiquing, aging around the edges of the drawers to just give it that old world feel. I fan out by the hardware, um, give it some sheen also. I had it all look cohesive and it all comes together quite nicely, especially with the black. You don't want the black looking too, um, too sharp or too matte with this kind of finish, but you also don't want it looking um, 
too shiny or anything. You want it aged. So I also to achieve this look, I did take some sanding paper over this black before I placed the gilding wax and it just helps with that aged effect that I'm going for. And you can see me using my hands a lot. Some of the best painting I've ever done is with my hands. Um, it's just, I guess you could call it finger painting, but it is just works for me. So I'm really working in some of this wax. I put a little bit too much here on this section. So in order for me to, um, to spread it out evenly without it looking gobbed on there, uh, using your fingers works really nicely. And do you see that edging here on this, on this drawer? Um, when there is detail like this, very ornate detail, um, this gilding wax is amazing for that stuff. It just accentuates it. It um, maximizes the detail in it. So this is the first part. You do do multiple layers. You just kind of play with it. It can be finicky until you get it exactly how you want it. Like right now, I wouldn't think that this looks good. but. Um, as I work it in, you know, you go in layers and eventually it'll have the antique aged look that I end up being happy with. Now at this point, I'm basically doing a mixture of the gilding wax and some of the craft paint that I have. I'm doing like a dry brush effect and um, working it together, taking turns with the different paint brushes, uh, just enough to make it all kind of work together and blend together. Now I'm coming in with the gold on top of the bronze and the champagne ice. I can't tell you exactly what order I did this in, but I realized that the gold popped out more when I did it on top of the champagne and the espresso colors. Now um, the gold just makes it pop. It gives it exactly what it needed. And the sides here where I'm working, this is always where I have fun. A lot of corners where you get to make it look aged. And you just work the paintbrush, you work it in, and I'm all about textures, so you see how I'm dabbing a little harder than I was in the beginning? This gold's, I don't know, I just loved it, I was obsessed with it, it was fun playing with it, and it gave it a texture. I don't know, I don't know if it was just the way that it complemented the other colors, but I love it. And here it is guys, all done, that was super fast. Just kidding. I need to redo this. There's something that's missing and I can't figure out what it is. I'm gonna go sip some coffee and then figure out what exactly is missing. I need to think about this. So I'm back and you can see that I changed my mind and I took a gunmetal metallic color paint that I had because I just felt like this was missing something. And I took one of my knives for painting and I decided to give it some layers. Um, and this gunmetal, this gunmetal metallic gray color looks awesome on this black. Um, and it's definitely giving that added depth that I was looking for. So I do this all across, uh, sporadically, no uniform, no plan. A little hard around the knobs, <laughs> but we make it work. I just think that this makes the color pop and it gives it that touch of what I was looking for. Um, different, you know, it doesn't look crafty. It looks like, this is making it look like a piece that you don't find in the store, but it definitely complements your home. And I love it. How many more times can I say I love it? All right, here she is. She's beautiful and I couldn't be more pleased with the end result. I think it has so much character and so much that you just can't stop staring at it. I love the colors. I love how the new hardware just accents with the finish on it. I can't wait to look at this every day as the future hubby and I end up getting coffee every morning. And make sure to subscribe to my channel, guys, and I'll see you next week. Bye.